Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Mission Yosakura Family Chapter 87. So last chapter, um, we got a new addition to the family. We got I, and it was just pure, pure cuteness overload, let's be real. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. You haven't been going to school lately. Have you been going out somewhere? It's hard to explain. Um... Ah, um, Mutsumi, give me a hand. How do I put a bra on? Are you for real, Shion? <laughs> and this chapter is titled Operation Shion's Date Outfit. Shion, why don't you let me help? Oh, you're here too? Um, Shion, I wish you and Kengo had some sense of shame. Are you okay? Uh, are you tired? Mm, just a little. The cost uh, performance of CPUs out in the market right now is terrible. For that kind of thing, the Shion Omega I created is ideal. Um, you can't get it on the net, though. I'll take you to a black market shop that sells it uh, direct the day after tomorrow. Whoa, thank you. I'm so honored I get to go on a date with you, Miss Shion. How is it a date, you snot-nosed brat? <gasps> she going on a date with Kenzie! Whoa! Um, I only know you in your everyday clothes, Miss Shion, so I'm looking forward to seeing what your date outfit looks like. Yeah, yeah, meet me at Shawcock Street the day after tomorrow at noon. If you're late, you owe me one billion gems. It's been two weeks since I left my room. Should I give the old man in uh, Cybertown some uh, improved memory as a present? Where's my wallet? Anyway, guess I better go take a shower. I'll wear the same shirt as always. I'm looking forward to seeing what your day outfit looks like. Oh, kitty, looking forward to it too. Uh, hey, Kengo, I need to borrow some clothes. Um, Shion, it's been a while, sure thing. Oh, I love those shirts! I want those shirts. Um, a different design on my shirt isn't that big of a change. Maybe something like this that's a bit more feminine would be better after all. Nah, I can't wear this while shopping at the black market, and it's not my style. And it's not my style. Those shirts, though, one of them looks like a pissed-off Carl's Jr. star, and the other one, yeah, let's be real. That's like just a, um, a, uh, a pissed-off Mario shroom. Maybe I can wear my high school uniform. No, 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 no. <laughs> the Goku outfit. Oh, my God. God. I don't know what to do. I usually never think about what to wear. I'm really up the creek here. I'm even starting to worry about what kind of underwear to wear. Maybe I don't need to wear anything. I can't see. Well, <laughs> I'm glad we could talk before it came to that. All right, leave it to me, Shion. Looks to me. Well, according to my tastes, which are quite refined, as I'm the head of a traditional and formal Yosakura family, um, the outfit you should wear, Shion, is this. No! A 19th century Victorian morning dress! Sorry, but to me, no way, no how. But this is the epitome of the great splendor and grace that makes a lady. Well, I'm very happy for you and your abundantly cultural upbringing, but this is murder on my midsection. Correct. A a correct etiquette dictates that a corset must squeeze tight enough to uh, squish the internal organs. Your fashions are scary as heck. <laughs> now, uh, how naive of you, Mitsumi. A man's perspective is crucial when it comes to picking an outfit for a date. A man is held captive by a woman's sexiness and healthy beauty. In other words, Jim Gloves. <laughs> this is your weird, just your weird fetish. You dumbass. I thought the school outfit was bad, and you expect me to walk around outside like this? I'd be better off wearing nothing. Shame is the greatest spice of all. Now, how about going to a track meet with me? Burn in hell! Ugh. Calm down, Shion. Um, let's all take a moment to cool off. And with that settled, prepare to be amazed. that It's the Shion Outfit Showdown. How is this cooling off? Um, I'll show you an outfit for Shion that will get a unanimous approval. Same here. Um, hey, Tyler, do something about those two, will you? Sorry, I don't want to stop missing me when she's having a good time. You love-struck idiot! She could have called him a sip. I've reflected on the overly simplic- Oh my god. Oversimplistic eroticism of my earlier outfit. And based on the themes of Mutsumi's dress, I suggest, uh, this. A Chinese-inspired dress. It Actually, that's not bad. It emphasizes the beauty of a of form with a stiff collar contrasted with skin that can be seen through the side slits. Isn't this the same uh, vibe as your other idea? Actually, that is not a bad outfit. I can see the glimmers of the e of the evil thoughts behind what might seem like a good uh, opinion, so I can't tell point. She saw right through me. It's cute, but given what Mutsumi said, woohoo, thank you, Tara. She's sipping. 
he, he's sniffing for her, but yeah, yeah. Um, you're in over your head, Sosuke. In the end, your imagination is cosplay level at best. If you're talking about, if you're going to talk about charm, there's something else you should have gone to right off the bat, and that's... No! A kimono! Um, the formal and casual, it's the... Not in the black market! It's the, uh, ultimate weapon of the flawless ideal woman of old Japan. If I was... This is not a marriage interview! If I was going to a marriage interview or a festival, sure, but I'm just going to the black market! The graceful and alluring nape of, of the neck. It struck his heartstrings. Well, since Wizzy says it's good, why you tired, you jerk? All you do is go along and root to me. Don't don't ignore the male libido. Think for yourself. See, Sosuke, <laughs> Sosuke knows he's something. Don't say that, Sosuke. I just want to be on Mitsumi's side. You made me sick, you simp. Tired of touching. But I suppose a kimono would be a bit extreme. Oh no, are we doing this again? I had enough. You know, even her normal outfits expose her neck and collarbone and are super sexy and impressive, so something doesn't feel right if she changes it all of a sudden. I'll start dressing uh, more modestly in front of you. Something doesn't feel right about changing things up from what she usually wears. Could there be a hint in uh, familiar daily outfits? Yes, that's it, Xion. I've got a bad feeling about this. Um, you need a style you're already used to, Xion, which is... What your family wears, I'm ready to face whatever you throw at me. <laughs> Why would I just look like a Matama? That was a good impression. I see. Uh, yes, family suits her to a t No, it does not, you numb skull. Okay, how about the, uh, the Kyojiro version? Stop being anything like it makes me want to barf. If he heard that, he'd cry. Okay, then the Shinzo version. Um... Uh, well, this is a bit better. Uh, you'll get arrested if you go out like that. Oh, well, you're around the same size as Kengo. That might actually work. Yes, uh, let me handle this, please. Ah! Kengo's cat uh, reimagined by Sosuke. Get your mind out of the gutter. That's why I hate boys. Please end your sentences with meow. Die! Meow! Gee, I'm exhausted. Um, it's disappointing, but your sibling's clothes aren't right either. A hidden face, a white robe. I think something's awakening inside of me. Sasuke, you fucking pervert. Hmm, Grandma K wears a kimono and Grandpa Bon wears a suit jacket. Is there no one else? Uh, I wears children's clothes. What about Ayaka? Oh, a main uniform. That's the way to go. Someone punch Sasuke, please. That's enough. Cybertown Black Market for electronics. Um, so I'm absolutely exhausted. Your family sounds really fun. So in the end, that's what you decided to wear? Uh, it's got a surprisingly normal vibe about it, but you look nice. <laughs> You're still such a... Ah, that is cute. You're still such a noob, Kenzie. Um, I realized I, I could think about it like, um, equip... I realized I could think about it like equipment specs in a video game, then it was selling in a splash. Yes, you got skimming... That was actually pretty smart. You got a skimming buckle with counters uh, cracking. GPS shoes shares location information with the Yozakura exclusive network. Jamming... Ooh, jamming innerwear jams radar and sends them haywire. Titanium hat, uh, knife proof, bulletproof, and uh, radio wave proof. Dude, that was smart. Fashion co uh, um, outfits, coordin uh, coordination, none of it matters. People should just wear what they want. <laughs> I can't believe you got that worked up uh, all for me. You're making me blush. Well, let's quickly make the rounds. Apparently, if we stay too long, we'll be picked up by illegal radio waves. Ow, why would you uh, punch me, Miss Sheon? Um, oops, sorry, my body short-circuited. With all that awesome gear on? This was cute! This was cute, and this was actually really smart by Sheon. Why not have functional fashion? Anyway, I don't like the stripes, though. The, the stripe... Woman, you should have not used horizontal stripes. They make you look bigger. Anyway... Very curious what you thought of this chapter. Fucking <laughs> Sasuke. Sasuke is such a goddamn pervert. Oh, God. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Mission Yo Zakara family content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.